Hello there, my friends. My name is Puddles McCullough, and I'm going to be reading you a book. Puddles McCullough, that's kind of a funny name. Well, it's actually a game that we all play to come up with a fun name. So maybe you want to be an artist or you want to be a singer or a dancer and you're looking for a new name just for fun. So Puddles was actually the first pet that I had because I had a dog that, well, made lots of puddles, mostly in the house. And McCullough is my mother's maiden name before she got married. So think about it for yourself. What's the first pet you remember? And what's your mother's name before she was married? And that could be your fun name when you want to play games. But now we're going to read some fun books. And I really enjoy reading. I actually work for Wayland School System and I help out with reading there. Um, in fact, I often have read to my little nieces and nephew. This is Justin, Julianne, and Jaden, and that's me reading a book to them. When I'm not doing that, I'm actually a physical therapist in Newton. So let's read a fun book. This is called Seagull Sid and the Naughty Things His Seagulls Did. It's written by Dawn McMullen. We'll tell you the story of Seagull Sid and the naughty things his seagulls did. To reclaim what gulls had owned before, people came to the sandy shore. These people brought boats and surf skis fantastic, but they littered the beach with cans and plastic, then lay on the sand row upon row with tummies and bottoms up for show. With radios blasting the quiet sea air, with barbecues, picnics, and food everywhere, while the gulls stood hunchback, quiet, and dumb, waiting for someone to throw them a crumb. Enough, said Sid, one sunny Sunday. Come, my friends, we'll chase them away. Time to be rid of this intruder called man. Let's get together and think of a plan. A grand plan they agreed upon, simple and clear. Sid strutted with pride. It was all his idea. The seagulls stood tall and fluffed up each feather. Ready, squawked Sid? Let's do this together. They took off in convoy, all flowing, flying low. Sid took the lead, the first one to go. Splat on the hat of a picnicker below. Can you see that? There's a man and the seagull went right on his head. There was the picnic all ready to eat. Bombs away, Sid led the fleet. The word picnic, that's kind of an odd word. How do you think we would spell the word picnic? For my younger friends, let's kind of sound it out. Picnic. So maybe you would think that you would spell it like P-I-K-N-I-C. But our older friends hopefully know how to spell it correctly. Picnic. I know, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why is that sometimes a k sound? Sometimes it's a s sound. It's confusing. Well, English is hard because it's a new language. It originally came from Germany and Italy, Latin and French and all sorts of other countries came together to make the language. And that's why it's kind of got weird, funny things. But spelling's important and you have to do it correctly. Bullseye on the apple pie, plop. No mistake on the chocolate cake, slop. Right on every scone, splish. Kerplunk in the drink, splash. Grand slam, a hit on the ham, slash. Then special assignments for a chosen few. Tricky task for skilled skeagulls to do. Got him, said Jim, bingo. Good job, said Bob, cool. Great shot, said Dot, fantastic. Near miss, said Chris. Bad luck. Direct hit, said Kit. Right on. Got my man, said Jan. Yes. I hit the towel, said Howell. Good one. On his back, said Jack. Yuck. What a team. Kit, Jan, Howell, Jack, Jim, Bob, Dot, and Chris working together with only one miss. Hooray! And then there was Frida with potential as leader, but they didn't need her. Oh, what a shame. Because with a scurry and flurry, the people left in a flurry. Drivers and cars anxious to go, boats and surf skis all in tow, picnics abandoned, no radio. 
Sid and his mates all gathered round, the remains of a picnic there on the ground. A victory feast, but first the speeches. Yes, seagulls will take back the beaches. Applause for Sid as he squawked in praise of his seagulls' courage and winning ways. Thank you, team, Sid cried out loud. You are right on target. I'm so proud. Split attacks with such precision. Of course, I made the right decision. I used my plan. It was a winner. And now, my friends, you may eat your dinner. And that's the story of Seagull Sid. Have a wonderful day, my friends.